हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू विद द चैप्टर ऑफ जियोग्राफी चैप्टर फोर एग्रीकल्चर एंड इन द लास्ट वीडियोज वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट द टाइप्स ऑफ फार्मिंग दैट इज प्रिमिटिव सब्सिस्टेंस फार्मिंग इंटेंसिव सब्सिस्टेंस फार्मिंग कमर्शियल फार्मिंग एंड द क्रॉपिंग पैटर्न दैट इज रबी खरीफ एंड जेड एंड मेजर क्रॉप्स वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट राइस वीट मिलेट्स पल्सिस टी कॉफी शुगर केन ऑयल सीड्स कॉटन राइट दीज थिंग्स वी हैव डिस्कस्ड एंड नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू विद द हॉर्टिकल्चर इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू विद द हॉर्टिकल्चर क्रॉप्स दैट इज हॉर्टिकल्चर क्रॉप्स इंडिया इज द लार्जेस्ट प्रोड्यूसर्स ऑफ प्रोड्यूसर ऑफ फ्रूट्स एंड वेजिटेबल्स इन द वर्ल्ड वट इज देयर इंडिया इज द लार्जेस्ट प्रोड्यूसर ऑफ फ्रूट्स एंड वेजिटेबल्स इन द वर्ल्ड एंड इंडिया इज अ प्रोड्यूसर ऑफ ट्रॉपिकल एज वेल एज टेम्परेट फ्रूट्स मैंगोज ऑफ महाराष्ट्र एंड आंध्र प्रदेश उत्तर प्रदेश एंड वेस्ट बेंगाल राइट मैंगोज आर देयर ऑफ महाराष्ट्र आंध्र प्रदेश उत्तर प्रदेश एंड वेस्ट बंगाल ऑरेंजेज ऑफ नागपुर एंड द चेरा पूंजी दैट इज इन मेघालय एंड बनाना ऑफ केरला मिजोरम महाराष्ट्र तमिलनाडु एंड लीची एंड गवावा ऑफ उत्तर प्रदेश एंड बिहार पाइनएप्पल्स ऑफ मेघालय ग्रेप्स ऑफ आंध्र प्रदेश एंड महाराष्ट्र एप्पल पियर एप्रिकोट वालनट्स ऑफ जम्मू कश्मीर एंड हिमाचल प्रदेश आर इन ग्रेट डिमांड ऑफ दी ओवर डिमांड द वर्ल्ड ओवर राइट वट इज देयर दी एप्पल पियर्स एप्रिकोट एंड वालनट्स ऑफ जम्मू कश्मीर एंड हिमाचल आर इन ग्रेट डिमांड ओवर दी वर्ल्ड राइट सो इंडिया प्रोड्यूस अबाउट थर्टीन परसेंट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड्स वेजिटेबल हाउ मच इंडिया प्रोड्यूस थर्टीन परसेंट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड्स वेजिटेबल राइट इट इज एन इम्पोर्टेंट प्रोड्यूसर प्रोड्यूसर ऑफ पी कॉलीफ्लावर ऑनियन कैबेज टोमेटो ब्रिंजल एंड पोटैटो राइट वट इज वट आर द इम्पोर्टेंट वेजिटेबल्स ऑफ इंडिया पीज कॉलीफ्लावर ऑनियन कैबेज टोमेटो ब्रिंजल एंड पोटैटो राइट सो दीज वर द हॉर्टिकल्चर एंड नाउ नोन फूड क्रॉप्स नाउ नोन फूड क्रॉप्स नंबर वन रबर रबर इज एन इक्वेटेरियल क्रॉप रबर इज एन इक्वेटेरियल क्रॉप इट रिक्वायर्स मोइस्ट एंड ह्यूमिड क्लाइमेट इट रिक्वायर्स मोइस्ट एंड ह्यूमिड क्लाइमेट विद रेनफॉल मोर देन टू हंड्रेड सेंटीमीटर विद रेनफॉल मोर देन टू हंड्रेड सेंटीमीटर एंड टेम्परेचर अबाउट ट्वेंटी फाइव डिग्री सेल्सियस इट इज एन इम्पोर्टेंट रॉ मेटीरियल फॉर इंडस्ट्री इंडस्ट्रियल रॉ मेटीरियल इट इज द इम्पोर्टेंट इंडस्ट्रियल रॉ मेटीरियल एंड मेनली ग्रोन इन केरला तमिलनाडु अंडेमान एंड निकोबार आईलैंड एंड गारो हिल्स ऑफ मेघालय एंड इंडिया रैंक्स फिफ्थ अमंग द वर्ल्ड्स नेचुरल नेचुरल रबर प्रोड्यूसर इंडिया रैंक्स फिफ्थ अमंग द वर्ल्ड्स नेचुरल रबर प्रोड्यूसर राइट नेक्स्ट थिंग इज देयर फाइबर क्रॉप्स नेक्स्ट इज देयर फाइबर क्रॉप कॉटन जूट हेम्प एंड नेचुरल सिल्क आर दी फोर मेजर फाइबर क्रॉप्स ग्रोन इन इंडिया विच आर देयर कॉटन जूट हेम्प एंड नेचुरल सिल्क आर फोर मेजर फाइबर क्रॉप्स इन इंडिया and uh, cotton jute and hemp are grown in so in the soil what is there cotton jute and hemp are grown in the soil natural silk is obtained from cocoons of the silk worms fed on green leaves what is there that cotton jute hemp are grown in soil and uh, natural silk is obtained from the cocoons of the silk worms fed on green leaves and rearing of silk worm for the production of silk fiber is known as sericulture what is the rearing of silk worms for production of silk is known as sericulture 
these three that cotton jute and hemp are grown in soil but natural silk is obtained from the cocoons next thing is there cotton next is cotton india is believed to be the original home of the cotton plant india is believed to be the original home of the cotton plant we have discussed this in the third chapter of history the nationalism in india that indian cotton was in huge demand in the world it was there in the huge demand in the world cotton is one of the raw mat main raw material for cotton textile industry and india is the third largest producer of cotton in the world india is the third largest producer of cotton in the world and india is the fifth largest producer of rubber in the world and cotton grows well in drier parts of the black soil of the deccan plateau i told you in the chapter 1 of geography that black soil is best soil for the cotton and it is there in deccan plateau and in the central gujarat and what is there it requires high temperature it requires high temperature light rainfall or irrigation and to tend frost free days frost free days means fog free days and bright sunshine for its growth and it requires bright sunshine for its growth cotton grows well in black co uh, black cotton soil of the deccan plateau and it is a kharif crop what is there it is a kharif crop require 6 to 8 months to mature it requires 6 to 8 months to mature and it is a kharif crop and major cotton producing states are maharashtra gujarat madhya pradesh karnataka andhra pradesh tamil nadu punjab haryana and uttar pradesh respectively and next is there jute next is jute it is known as golden fiber what is known as golden fiber jute is known as golden fiber it grows well on the well drained fertile soils in the flood plains in the flood plains the land or the area and the that is the plain that is formed by the soil carried by the flood or the river is known as the flood plain soil are renewed every year and what is there it require high temperature for its growth it require high temperature for its growth and major areas major jute producing area states are west bengal bihar assam odisha are the major jute producing states it is used jute is used in making gunny bags mats ropes yarn carpet and other artifacts due to its high cost it is losing market to synthetic fiber and packaging material particularly the nylon what is there the cost of jute is high that's why there is more emphasis on nylon and synthetic fiber in the market right this thing these things are there next thing is there technological and industrial reform next thing is there technological and industrial reform what are there in technological and industrial reforms that it was mentioned in the previous pages that agriculture has been practiced in india for the thousand of year sustained uses of land without compatible techno techno institutional change have hindered the pace of uh, uh, agricultural development what is there if we will not use the good Uh, good uh, method or good technology for the cultivation or these crops for the crop pattern then what will be there that then it will hinder the agriculture growth agriculture development hinder means uh, stop it will be like a breaker if we will not use the good use good uh, technical methods and sustained use of land in spite of development of sources of irrigation most of the farmers in large part of the country still dependent on monsoon still what is there they are dependent on monsoon and natural fertility in order to carry on their agriculture in the present time still in the present time what is happening that 
फिर फार्मर्स आर दे दैट आर स्टिल डिपेंडेंट ऑन दी इरिगे फॉर द इरीगेशन ऑन दी रेनफॉल एज वेल एज फॉर द नेचुरल फर्टिलिटी दे आर डिपेंडेंट ऑन दी नेचर राइट फॉर द नेचर राइट दे आर नॉट यूजिंग दी एच वाई बी सीड्स एंड दी फर्टिलाइजर फॉर अ ग्रोइंग पॉपुलेशन दिस पोज इज अ सीरियस चैलेंज पॉपुलेशन इज ग्रोइंग एट ए वेरी फास्ट रेट एज द पॉपुलेशन विल ग्रो देन वट विल बी देयर डिमांड फॉर फूड विल इंक्रीज इफ विल नॉट यूज द गुड मैथड ऑफ फार्मिंग एंड देर विल बी नो टेक्नोलॉजिकल इंस्टीट्यूशनल रिफॉर्म देन वट विल बी देयर दिस विल बी अ पोज सीरियस चैलेंज टू पॉपुलेशन एग्रीकल्चर विच प्रोवाइड्स लाइवलीहुड फॉर मोर देन सिक्सटी परसेंट ऑफ इट्स पॉपुलेशन नीड्स सम सीरियस टेक्निकल एंड इंस्टीट्यूशनल रिफॉर्म दिस नीड्स सम टेक्निकल एंड इंस्टीट्यूशनल रिफॉर्म दस कलेक्टिवाइजेशन कंसोलिडेशन ऑफ होल्डिंग कोऑपरेशन एंड अबोल्यूशन ऑफ जमींदार एट्सेट्रा वट इज देयर अबोल्यूशन ऑफ जमींदार वट इज देयर अबोल्यूशन ऑफ जमींदार मीन्स अर्लियर जमींदारी प्रथा वॉज देयर दैन दैट नीड टू बी अबोलिश वर गिवन प्रायोरिटी टू ब्रिंग वट इज देयर गवर्नमेंट हैज गिवन द प्रायोरिटी ऑन रिमूविंग द अबोल्यूशन ऑफ जमींदारी एंड कंसोलिडेशन ऑफ होल्डिंग्स मीन्स लैंड इज देयर दैट इज डिवाइडेड अगेन एंड अगेन राइट एंड वट एल्स इज देयर लैंड रिफॉर्म्स वॉज मेन फोकस ऑफ आर फर्स्ट फाइव ईयर प्लान वेन वॉज द फर्स्ट फाइव ईयर प्लान इम्प्लीमेंटेड देन यू हैव टू सर्च इट लैंड रिफॉर्म means what was their land reform was there the first focus of the first 5 year plan and the right of inheritance inheritance had already led to the fragmentation of land holdings necessitating consolidating of holdings what is there due to the right of inheritance what is right of inheritance whatever land was there with the grandfather then it was suppose the grandfather is having two kids right then the land divided into two part and that two kids are having two two kids and further the land is divided into more part that is what that is fragmentation of land holding due to that what is happening the productivity of land is decreasing the productivity of land is decreasing so what was their land reform was the first main focus of the first 5 year plan the laws implemented the law of land reform were enacted but the implementation was lacking and lukewarm what is there everything everywhere it is there in india that laws and laws are there but the implementation of these laws are not so proper so what the government did in 19 the green revolution based on the package technology and white revolution on the operation flood were some of the strategies initiated to improve the lot of indian agriculture what was there green revolution was there for mainly rice and wheat and white revolution was there mainly for the increase of production of uh, uh, milk right so what else the government has done government did the like uh, government kisan credit card personal accident insurance scheme that is pais and some other schemes are introduced by the government what is there that schemes are introduced by the government for the benefit of the farmer schemes by the government such as kcc and personal insurance scheme introduced by the government and another thing that special weather bulletins and agriculture program programs for farmers are introduced on the radios and television what is the that special agriculture related programs are telecast on the television and that is helping to the farmer about the weather and about the uh, that which crop they have they can grow farmers can grow and next thing is their government also announces minimum spot price minimum spot price means at least this on this price they can sell the thing and remunerative and the procurement prices for the important crops to check the exploitation of farmers and the spectacle uh, speculators of uh, sorry and middle remunerative prices 
इट मीन्स गवर्नमेंट इज परचेजिंग दी थिंग्स और प्रोवाइडिंग दी प्राइसिज टू दी फार्मर्स एट मीन्स गुड प्राइसिज दे आर प्रोवाइडिंग एंड दे आर हेल्पिंग टू दी फार्मर्स एंड दे आर सेविंग दी फार्मर्स फ्रॉम दी मिडल मैन एंड दी स्पेकुलेटर्स वट इज देयर स्पेकुलेटर्स दैट बी द लाल एंड मिडल मैन लाइक बिचोलिए right this was there and next thing is there contribution of agriculture to the national economy employment and output what is there contribution of agriculture to the national economy and employment and uh, output earlier what was there earlier it was there that uh, indian agriculture was having the share most of the share in the gdp but after that what happened secondary sector takes the place and after that what happened tertiary sector takes the place in the share of uh, more share in the gdp but in the matter of employment what is there that the primary sector is only agriculture is only at the first place right agriculture has been the backbone of the indian economy and its share in the gdp has registered a decline trending from 920 951 onwards earlier it was there more and after 951 it was it is declining yet its share in providing employment and livelihood to the population continues as high as 63% in 2001 what was there that in agriculture is the most employment absorbing most employment absorbing sector means most of the people are employed in the uh, agriculture but in terms of gdp what is their tertiary sector is having more share the declining share of agriculture in gdp is a matter of serious concern because any decline and stagnation in agriculture will lead to decline in other spheres of economy having wider implication for the society stagnation means full stop rukawat if any decline is there in gdp related to a uh, sorry agriculture's decline is there in gdp and stagnation is there then what is there then what will be there there will be uh, decline in other spheres of economy having wider implication means bad results will be there for the society considering this importance of agriculture in india the government of india made con created or concerted effort to modernize agriculture what government of india is doing they are modernizing the agriculture establishment of icar icar indian council of agriculture and research agricultural universities veterinary, veterinary services and animal breeding centers horticulture development research and development in the field of meteorology and weather forecast etc were given priority for improving the agriculture these all steps are taken by the government to improve the condition of agriculture in india apart from this improving the rural infrastructure was also considered the essential for the same right so next thing is there that from the above table from the above table means from this table we can see that 3.5 3.6 in 1980 was share of the in growth of gdp major sectors in primary sector was there 3.6 secondary this and tertiary this and but what is there 9.1 it is showing in 2002 to 7 but in the present time what is there the service sector is at the top and it is there a primary only 4% now next thing is there that the above table it is clear that though the gdp growth rate is increasing over the year but it is not generating sufficient employment opportunity in the government gdp is increasing but employment is not increasing so read this at your own right so next thing is there food security food security as we have all have read in class 9 pds was introduced by the government right what is pds public distribution system what is food security food security means everyone will get the two square meal and minimum nutritional level of food what is there you know that food is basic 
need for every citizen and every citizen of the country should have access to food which provide minimum nutritional level what is food security that everybody can assess the food afford the food and available the food to everyone that is food security if any segment of our population does not have this assess the segment suffers from the lack of food security we already have discussed this in class 9 the number of people do not have food security is disproportionately large in some areas some regions of the country particularly in economically less developed state with higher incidence of poverty where there is high poverty then what is there there are more food insecurity because people are not able to access the food not able to afford the food and food is not available to them right the remote areas where there is poverty of the country are more prone to natural disasters and uncertain for food supply where there is natural disaster and uncertain food supplies are there that are remote areas where food insecurity is there so this this food due to this food insecurity government has it uh, implemented the programs it consists of two uh, government introduced the food security program it consists of two component that is buffer stock and the public distribution system i think it is no need to explain we have already done in class 9 pds that is a public distribution system what what the fci is doing that is food corporation of india food fci is responsible for procuring the and stocking food grain what the fci is doing fci is collecting the food grains from the area where there is a surplus and uh, providing that food surplus food to the area where there is a deficit of the food grain and it is distributed they are distributing the food with the help of pds public distribution system that is uh, like ration shop right and government is announcing the minimum spot price as well as government is announcing the pre price pre announced prices what is pre announced prices that government is announcing the prices before uh, means so swing before swing so and what is there that bpl and above apl bpl and apl bpl means below poverty line and apl is above poverty line below poverty line those who, the people those who are not able to afford the food and available food is not available to them they are not able to earn their basic needs basic nutritional value so they are known as the they are coming under the bpl and, and those who are able to fulfill they are coming and uh, they are in a apl above poverty line so this next these things you have to read at your own and here next thing is there the impact of globalization next thing is there the impact of globalization what is there in impact of globalization that the impact of globalization on agriculture what is there in that impact of globalization on agriculture 